Hello again. Um, I thought what I'd do today is just a little tour of my colony to show you how an ant colony works so that you know what you're looking for. So yeah, I'm very sorry with the condensation, but there in that dark corner somewhere is the queen and the eggs. And then if you move slightly further down the nest, here, these are the larvae. This is what we're waiting for at the moment with our queens. They're these little bumpy white worm things and you can see their food inside them as a dark blob. Um, here is what I call their protein pile. They make a sludge out of dead insects and then feed it to the larvae um, and they'll do that in the tube. I'll show you later on. And then moving slightly out into a drier area you've got a, a pile of pupa here and you can see if you look carefully in there this, there's some very very big larvae so this is where they're changing the larvae from larvae into pupa these are the very freshly spun pupa that they've got in this chamber and then here in this corner they've got the older darker pupa you can see they're a more brown color um, so they're progressing the pupa further out as they get older. So as you can see, everything is organized into distinct piles, distinct areas of the nest. And there are certain ants that work in certain areas. If you watch the actual workers on, like, say, the, the pupa there, look, the same workers, they don't move. They're not scurrying around. They just stay in these places doing their jobs. But then you can see these other ants shuttling up and down through the colony like a sort of little river that flows through the middle and these are the ants that are bringing the supplies and things like that from the outworld. Um, and for any of you who watched my video a few days ago you will have seen they were dumping their rubbish here around the water tower. They have completely cleaned up as you can see, got rid of all the rubbish from there and what they did was they brought it over to this little chamber here and that's got a little slidey door on it so I cleaned it out. And here you can see the foragers. These are the ones that have been out to the outworld and got some food in their mouths or their social stomachs and they're bringing it back into the colony. Um, and you can see that again like I said it's like this little stream that flows through the middle of the colony as these foragers come back into the colony you see them sort of stop every time they interact with an ant inside the colony they offer to share food and you'll see ants going head to head like a little ant kiss that is them sharing food and the reason they're all so excited is that um, out here in the outworld there's a dead wasp um, which was in my house today so I squashed it against the window I pulled the sting out you can just see it in there between the two um, sticks so what they're doing is they're gathering the protein out of this wasp um, and shuttling it back into the um, nest. And, and the way they do that is that they mark a trail along the floor with pheromones. They, they, they use the little tiny end of their gaster, that's the back part of the ant, just to dab little chemicals basically on the floor that smell. And they can follow that smell so they know well, they don't know, but they're following their programming. So they're coming out and going along that trail. You can see them here coming in and out of the hole. And every time they meet another ant, they touch antennae and swap information between them. Um, so these ants here, as you can see, uh, are bringing the food back into the nest um, and sharing it internally with those ants inside that are doing the work. And those ants inside that are doing the work will never come here into the outworld until they get older. So here is some ants engaging in tropolaxis, the mouth-to-mouth -mouth sharing of food. Um, and yeah, if you just watch this little stream as it comes in, it, it, it sort of looks around, mills around and, and asks. I say asks again, it's all programming. They touch antennae and they say, would you like some food that I've brought back? And if the ant inside needs the food, it says yes. And if it doesn't, it says no, except it doesn't say it. It's all done through chemical interactions. And then here, as you can see, there are ants just hanging around on the wall. There are, there are a huge reserve that basically does nothing, but just sits there waiting in case they need extras in a certain area. 
Now I'll link, I'll put some links if you're really interested in this sort of stuff to uh, a lady called Deborah Gordon who um, actually does research on how ants interact, what makes them do the things they do, how they progress through the jobs in the nest. And obviously she's a um, ecologist, so she's far more experienced and qualified than me. So if you want to see the science behind it, I'll put links in the description. But yeah, that's like a, a tour of my nest and what all of the different ants are sort of up to. Thank you for watching.